Clarence, how are you? I'm doing good, sir. Um, so tell me about yourself, man. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Been living here all my life. I'm 65, 64 years old, good looking and all that good stuff. And um, I love Baltimore. <laughs> I love Baltimore. Do I you? love it. What was your childhood like? Oh, it was beautiful. Both I used to go down the country every summer, down there with my grandfather. I used to crop tobacco. I used to take hang the tobacco up in the barn. Me and my brother, I had an older brother named Carl, and he's still living. He used to build us wooden guns. We used to have dirt battles. I had a beautiful childhood, bro. Lived in a shack, had a goddamn outhouse. We had a pump for water, had a pig pen, a watermelon patch. Man, look, one day me and my brother went down the watermelon patch, man, that, woo! Styling <laughs> and profiling. If you don't like it, baby, you better learn to love it because it's the best thing going today. Yeah, look, we went down the watermelon patch one morning, right? Bust the watermelon, baby. We bust the watermelon, baby. Look, bro, the sun was shining, right? All you could see was goddamn sugar. You ever seen the watermelon in the morning? That motherfucking watermelon, the sugar, it's, it, it's like white. I had a great childhood, brother, and I'm having a great life right now. I got um, both parents coming up. No, yep, both of them. Till the day they died, my mother died at 93. She died a half hour before her birthday. Oh wow. Um, she was born 1923, March 12th, 1923. She was uh -huh. a um, Pisces. My father was a um, my father was a um, Scorpion. His was November something. I can't never remember his birthday. Um, my, my, um, I got some sisters. They, they, they terrible. Look, they hate us. They, they down on us because we didn't go to college. Um, how many, one of them, how many sisters you got? Three. One of them died. My man, Janice was by my father, right? My baby died, man. She had aneurysm. Her, her, her brain blew up, killed her, right? Okay. Now I got two more sisters, Francine and Jackie. Now, we got the same mother with different fathers, right? And Francine and Jackie, they put me and my brother down because we didn't go to college, you know? So right. they think we drug addicts. They think, I'm, um, they think I'm a drug addict and don't really know me. Because Donald, my brother, he was, I mean, he was really gone. I mean, he shot drugs. That's how he died. He OD'd. He OD'd right up in the house. So um, uh, last November 16th, that's when he passed away. And um, that was my nigga, man. Every bike I ever owned was his hand-me-down. The first bike he ever gave me was a 400 cal. One day we rode the Rocky Mountain. Well, we went to South Carolina because I was going to move down the country, right? I was going to move down Florence. I got on, we rode the bike. We, by the time we got to Rocky Mountain, baby, my nuts was, oh my God, my nuts was, I forgot what they call it. I got off the bike, had to get up and sit. For about an hour, my nuts was aching. Oh my God, my nuts was aching, baby. <laughs> but we made it. A 400 yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm on the back. By the time we hit Rocky Mountain, baby, I had my nuts was fucking hurting. So we went on down South Carolina, right? We lived in, um, up there, I forgot the name of the street we lived at. We had a little hut, little house. Time we hit 10, all the bitches want to give you some. So anyway. Got down there, I stayed in there for about, about two or three months. Got the fuck up out that motherfucker. Uh, mommy, daddy, I'm ready to come back home. <laughs> they came back and got us. All our posters, we got Jimi Hendrix posters. My brother used to collect them, but they, they, I gave them away, man. We had Jimi Hendrix classic posters. Fucking West Montgomery, baby. See, I'm a musician too, I play drums, guitar, bass. And, how, long, um, how long you been playing? I've been playing, I'm, I ain't played in 20 years. Yeah. So I might can't play no more. That's like I haven't rode a motorcycle in 20 years. 20 years is my thing, baby, for the dollar. So look, um, we used to play down the house. We had a film, man, and, and I gave it to Mike, gave it to a guy named Mike, and he lost it. Man, we had a film we did one night. Damn, like a motherfucker. Cops was listening to it. They didn't tell us to cut it off. We were jamming, and the music was going all the way across the lot, right? Jam like a motherfucker that night, boy. We had fun, man. Me and Mike, we had 
case of cheap beer, we are that beer, but this is about 20 years ago. Moving up to now, I was depressed last last week I was depressed. Wow. I really felt fucked up. Why? Wow. Because I lost my job. My boss was an asshole. Where were you working at? Temp company. Um, I used to unload uh, liquor trucks, and I used to work for Kaki's, uh, truck trash, you know, do trash delivery. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I did. But see, I worked for Temp Spot. You know how Temp Spot, so all they paid me was eleven seventy five. What did you end up doing after high school? Dropped out. I never went to, um, I never got my high school diploma. Started getting high, riding motorcycles and all that type of shit. I never did disco. I've always been a rock and roll freak. So all I did was got my motorcycle, got high, had a good time. That's what, what I did. What was your drug of choice? My best drug? Yeah. Um, I used to take acid. I used to like acid. I used to like, I never did heroin. I never did um, heroin. I never did real hard drugs. I never, but I shot drugs one I shot a drug one time. My buddy put that motherfucker in there, right? Hey, sir. God, it was a hell of a feeling. Now, as the needle is going like this, right, I'm going to tell you how your body feels. When the needle is going in, your body go like this. It's like when the needle is going in, your ass is going in outer space. It's weird, man. I only did it once. Damn, Ben. Ben shot me up. He died. He got killed. Okay, that's 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 my drug. That's the serious drugs. There's one time, bro. I'm only, well, back then I was like 20, so I probably wasn't even 20 yet. But now I'm 65, 64 years old. I don't do hard drugs. I never, I never smoke cigarettes. That's good. I ain't got no teeth because one night I got all fucked up, right, and went over to my lady house, right, I woke up, man, I don't know where my teeth went, right? I haven't had them since. You don't know where the teeth went? She got them. She took them? She had to. Where else they go? Unless they walk. I was at her house. My teeth gone, baby. I'm saying, oh, you please, baby, give me my teeth. God damn, I mean, you got to play games. The teeth never came, man. They never came back. And guess how much I paid for those dentures? How much? The guy that did my dentures was my buddy from high school. He's, he was a dentist. Conrad, cool, pretty motherfucker, right? $300 a denture. $300 a denture. Can you be there? Why do you think she took them? Because I stopped fucking her. So she got mad and took the dentures? Mm hmm You know how chicks are. I got kids by a girl, man. How, how many, many kids you got? One. Walter, my youngest son, 30. Sabrina, my youngest daughter, 29. Evelyn, my oldest daughter, 33. D, my in the middle son, 37. Now, Clarence Jr. is my son, but he's by another woman. Okay, that's one, three boys, two girls, and I got six grandchildren. Sabria, I call, Sabria, I call her the goop. That's my girl. I, oh, my God. I, her father died. Her father od He fucked around the Trentinol. Killed him. You mean the fentanyl? Trittinol killed him, yeah. He down, he was a good cook. He was a cook, real expert, you know, yeah. cooker. Only 28 years old. Now, this is the last time I seen him. I'm sitting on the step chilling with the goop, his daughter. So he popped up from nowhere, man. Hey, what's up, baby? He said, what's up, Pop? He called me Pop. He said, Dad, you look good, Pop. I said, man, I'm hanging, baby. Next thing I know, him and the goop gone. He took the goop. Damn. He took it down to Florida because they um, stationed him down Florida. He's in charge. He's a top chef, right? He took, he's down Florida working. So he took the goop. He loved that girl. He said, he said my girl, he loved that girl. He loved Sabrina, man. So one night we was at the house. That's when I was living back with my baby. And... Um, a girl called, my daughter called, came over crying. What was going on? Man, OD, it was like 4.30 in the morning, right? Um, he was down in Florida where he lived at, right? And uh, he OD'd. And he said, shit was coming out of his mouth or some dumb shit. He was one of his buddies. 
see, he was excited because him and my daughter were supposed to be getting back together. I mean, he was all pumped up, you know what I'm saying? So he said, well, fuck it, we'll get high like everybody do. They get high, you know? We are gonna get a buzz, fuck it. Took some pills, man, and drank or something shit. I don't know what the fuck happened, but um, he passed away, man. Uh, he passed away a year before last. Now, my brother came to my house the one that passed away last year. He said, what happened to my man? I said, man, he OD'd, man. He said, man, man, give me a picture of my game of, um, you know, one of them things. And, um, man, I cried, man. I, it's sad, man. It's, I mean, my man only 28 years old. He wanted to get married to my daughter. They was going to get back together. He lived with me for about a year because me and my, you know, all my kids lived with me at one time. And I lived up there on Park Heights for about, we lived up there for like nine years. And he was living there for a while, you know? And uh, he kept going to school, doing his thing, you know, cooking school. He got his papers, all that shit, man. And, um, well, he passed away. Okay, when he passed away, my brother was still living. So about a year later, okay, here go Donald. One night he came, this is the last time I ever seen my brother alive. I'm down in the house watching Jimi Hendrix movie. And I, I wanted to let him in, but my brother ignorant. I mean, he'd get loud and, you know, and so I, 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 plus it wasn't my house. So I didn't even invite him in to see Hendrix, man. I had um, Jimi Hendrix, not Berkeley, but um, Atlanta Pop Festival. These guys filmed it. Oh, it's beautiful, man. But I didn't even know I, I knew I had the film. I used to go to the CD store. You ever heard of Thousand Point? Mm -hmm. I clean the motherfuckers out. I used to go over that month. I'm gonna steal the motherfucker. See these boots? Walmart. See this watch? Walmart. All oh, this shit ain't come from Walmart. I got a pack of clothes like this. Walmart. I love Walmart, it's my favorite store, because they don't treat me like a whore. I can go in there, and I've been caught three times, but they keep telling me, baby, come on back, and steal some more. So I went today, I went yesterday, I told my man, this is the guy that lived with me, my buddy, this is my nigga. I said, look, homeboy, you need some damn boots? He said, yeah. I went up Walmart yesterday, got my brand new, fresh pair of boots, baby. I stole some watches, right? And one of the watches was my goddamn watch, right? They took my watches, put me in the back, took me in the back room. Ha you know, I, well, they ain't handcuffed me. The cop finally came, wrote the shit up, blah, blah, blah. I had to go to court. Went to court, baby. They sent me all the way out there where the cadets at, out on um, Annapolis. I had to go to court out of Annapolis. Man, they threw that shit out of court. But let me tell you about this. One day, I'm home, right? So my brother, he outside acting crazy as usual, right? He said, man, you got a summons coming, man. What? A summons? Yeah, man, yeah, a summons coming. He's a nasty motherfucker. He had an attitude, bro. Yeah, you got a summons coming, bitch. I said, damn, man, why he be calling me bitches all the time, man? So I said, well, why, they got, why, why I got something? I ain't do shit. Guess what he did? He up there in McDonald's some goddamn way flirting with your young bitches, right? So guess what happened when he got caught? He said, what's your name, sir? Clarence Chapman. Uh, he know my address. He know my social security number. He know everything. They sent me the summons, right? I said, damn, man, I had the blues. I ain't this a bitch. Nigga then went out there and got locked up and said he was me. So what happened was I had to go to court. I, went, I didn't go. I was, fuck it, I ain't going to figure out what I'm going to do, right? I'm in Jesse's house. I live with my cousin, right? You know when the man, bam, bam. I said, oh, shit. I know they was coming eventually. <laughs> bam, bam. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Clarence Chapman here. I'm, I'm Clarence Chapman. Oh, we have a wolf for your arrest, sir. Oh, I just a bitch. He showed me a picture and everything of me, right? Yeah, how do you have a picture? Merlin State ID, because I never had a, I never been locked up. I said, well, what's the problem? 
This dumb motherfucker went up in the, what did he do? He went, okay, number one, he fucking with some young girl that he got in trouble because he said something to her. And, and the, her mother, you know, somebody was with the, he did some dumb shit. He got locked up, okay, because he mouthed. The nigga be around town mouthing all those motherfuckers. I get on the bus, they think I'm him. One day this big husky bitch, she said, you, you, you want to do something now? I said, the fuck you talking about? I said, down him. I said, he could have got me killed. No, he could have shit. He could have got me killed because Dingo, Dingo, that's how I go. Dingo. Motherfucker killed me and they looking for his ass. Ain't that a bitch? I mean, they could do that. It could have happened. Yeah. Okay, so I got busted. The bitches came in, took me to jail. But when I got over there, it was right over there on um, Windsor Mill, baby, Windsor Mill station. I said, man, that's my twin brother, man. So they looked at him. I got bald head. He got dreadlocks. One dreadlock. So, and then he got like a scar over his head, or up here somewhere, I don't know. So the cops said, yeah, that ain't you. So it only kept me locked up for like an hour, processing and all that. He said, I, I look, brother, I'm telling you, now you tell me I ain't a good guy. I'm a biker, all that shit, look crazy. But I, I don't fuck with nobody. I never had a record. Never had my ID, they never had my face downtown until then. He took my picture. He said, damn, man, if you want a job, man, I'll recommend you, man. Because he ain't never knew a nigga old as me that ain't got no record downtown. He ain't never did shit. So he really was, made me feel good. Man, he made me feel good about it because it was true. I said, man, my parents raised me. I ain't never, I'm a Christian. I never did nothing like that. Man, I give people money, man. I, I see homeless motherfuckers. I give somebody 20, well, this girl was crying. Crying her ass off. I felt sorry for I get 20 out. So one day I was going to work. Motherfuckers crying. Oh, we need, I think they want some dope, but I said, okay. Oh, we, we need some money. I said, yeah, give him 20 hours. And I said, here, man, 20 hours. You want about the business? So I'm still walking down the street. Guess what, bro? I look down, $10 bill. To damn God, good. $20, $10, so look, check this out. I went over to John Hopkins to get my girl her medicine one day, right? Three years ago. I came back on the on the train, right? Big ass pocketbook, said, damn! Hey, hey, somebody leaving now, they're leaving the fucking pocketbook. Hey, hey, Biden. Got up and said, fucking that, right? I said, well, you know what I was gonna do, brother? I'm serious. I was gonna give it to the conductor. I was gonna get in the pocketbook. You know, that's what they say. I said, fuck it, take this motherfucker home. Took it home, right? So I started looking, the pocketbook about this big. I started looking, oh, God damn, bitch got a phone and dead. But the bitch had everything in there but the kitchen sink, baby. So next thing I know, I said, damn, I'm gonna take money in this motherfucker. All of a sudden, I saw a $100 bill. Oh, shit. Man, that motherfucker hundred dollar bill was so clean I could fucking fry the egg on that motherfucker, baby. So I said, damn, let me see if this shit real. I went up to the store, got my girl a cheap watch, got me a watch. I said, man, is this, is this, is this shit real? He said, fuck no, man, this shit fake. I said, oh, ain't that a bitch. How oh, man my fuck. He said, no, it's real. I said, damn. Went back home. That's out fifteen hundred dollars, baby. Cold cash. The money was so new, baby. Well, the money was so new, baby. I said, damn, my weight today is 210. The weight I wore when I fought Sunday. And while we here on TV, what you guys say about me being 212? Howard Cosell said, you are not the fighter you once was. You are not the man you used to be. Howard said, I beat the chump in the telephone booth. Ali, bad motherfucker, baby. Muhammad Ali, my boy Ali said, I'm the greatest fighter of all time. Boy, he said, you bet on Sunday, you're going to lose your money. And uh, let me see, that's that in my life. I told you about the country, right? Mm -hmm. I used to crop the back over, used to hang the back over in the back of bond. 
Um, and then we, my grandfather used to say, yes, sir, the white people. Man, I used to hate that shit. Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh, my God, man. I hate that shit. I what was, was like, it like? What was it like coming up through all the through all the segregation era and things like that with King? He ain't mean shit to me. I mean, I, I was a kid, though, but I didn't like my grandfather saying yes, ma'am, and yes, all that shit that these white motherfucking kids, you know, young people. And then I lived on Pennsylvania Avenue when the riots was in town, right? And um, it was like quiet, like it is up here. All of a sudden, man, it sounded like Buffalo was coming. The oh, was noise. The National Guard was stationed out Drew Hill Park. The National Guard. This is in the 60s. So I was born 1957. I was born March 31st, 1957. I'm 64 years old now. I'm an old motherfucker now. So I was there doing the riots. I was right there in the hood, baby. I mean, I live on Pennsylvania Avenue. So they had a, a juice store around the corner, right? So um, check this out. They sold um, wash machines and all that shit, right? Snow like a motherfucker, baby. This shit here, we had like probably 22 inches. Damn. Man, niggas went up in that motherfucker, baby. Niggas went up in that motherfucker, baby. Look. The next day, niggas got brand new washing machines, washing drives. But see, that's before the four-wheel drives came out, right? The cops couldn't even get up in there and stop these motherfuckers. Niggas pushing the shit on the snow to their cribs. The next day, niggas snitching. You know niggas snitch. <laughs> no, not a lot now. Niggas get killed, niggas don't snitch now. Ah, see, I fucked up that time. Everybody that had something, the man was up in the crib. Motherfucker across the street had brand new wash machine, all that good shit. They had to give all that shit back, right? And um, I said, well, hey, easy come, easy go, baby. You know what I mean? I ain't fuck with none of that. My mother whipped my ass. Plus, we had a wash machine and shit anyway. It was February. It was George Washington's birthday. Snowed like a motherfucker, man. I mean, we had about 20-some inches. And uh, niggas went up in there, hit the store and all that good shit. Cops came out the next day, locked niggas up. You better believe them Jews got their shit back. And, um, you know, that was that. What's a typical day for you, like now? Now? Well, I told you I wasn't work. I hadn't worked in a month. So I was fucking looking stupid. But I finally got my head back together, right? You know, the blues went away, right? See, I didn't get high for a whole month. When I get fucking depressed, getting high not even in my reference for it because how am I going to get high and enjoy myself when I'm broke and, and ain't got no money? How can I have fun? See, when I, see, this is the thing about me. When I get depressed, right, I go to myself. I go lock myself in the house, in the room. Don't fuck with nobody. I sit there. I sat there so long, man, my feet start hurting. My legs start hurting. My back start hurting. I said, no, I got to go. This shit ain't good for me, man. I stopped going to the doctor. I stopped eating my high blood pressure medicine. Not that I wanted to die. It's just that I said, fuck it. I ain't had no, um, what they call them, your doctor? My doctor, she, I had to get another doctor. I, and the doctor I had was fine. Oh, man. So I'm there telling them all these chicks, to, look, I ain't had no sex in I ain't gonna lie, I ain't had no sex in about seven years. I tell them, I say, I ain't had nothing in about seven years. Motherfucker be laughing. Hey, y'all can laugh. Hey, hey, I got kids. I done fucked before. Ain't nothing I ain't never had now. But I don't wanna fuck anything. I ain't playing Russian roulette with my dick, baby. It's all I got. What if I go ahead and catch AIDS? What if I catch some other shit and make my shit fall off? Hammer time, baby. I, that chicken will get choked. I came up. Is it cool saying this though? Yeah, yeah Look, say, say whatever. It's on hey, your baby. Line, now I'm a porn freak. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a pornography. I love porn. Shit, I put some porn on the other day, baby. I got like a thousand movies, Western movies, karate movies. I got Jimi Hendrix movies. I got everything. Well, I'm not with you. Next time you in town, come to my crib. I'm going to see my crib. That bitch laid out. Is what they call it? Your man cave. Yeah. Oh, my motherfucker tight. I got a, a, and most of the shit in there I stole from Walmart. I got a, Alvin Presley Cadillac. He got his Cadillac. 
He's singing. He got Mike in his mouth. I got everything in there. Day and night. Everything. Walmart is my store. I'm the Walmart hoe. Look, I love Walmart, man. I go in. There, I got CD players from Walmart. Now I got one thing I brought. I got me a little radio. I brought that. What else I got? Um, movies. You know, shit I got from Walmart. Is Jimi Hendrix your I'm favorite, Jimmy favorite Hendrix. musician? Bust Montgomery, freak, huh? Is Jimi Hendrix your favorite musician? You fucking ain't right. Jimi Hendrix, Bust Montgomery, John Coltrane, Gil Scott Haran, um, Alvin Jones, Art Blakey, Lee Morgan. I'm a jazz freak. I used to go with Left Bank when I was a kid. Me and Donald, my brother, we used to go over left bank and see the stars. I got Alvin Jones autographs. I went in the back, the drummer that played with Coltrane. I got his autograph. I had, but I lost it. I had Alvin Jones uh, uh, um, autograph. I had Kenny Burrell autograph. I had Percy Heath autograph. I had his brother autograph. I had R. Blakey's autograph. And I shook Alvin Jones' hand. He a drummer. I shook his hand back there. I'm a Did drummer. You? Yeah, it rubbed off. I ain't washed my hand for a whole year. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> and that's it. I'm a motorcycle. I used to ride with the Cycle Kings. I used to ride with, I was trying to get with the Thunder Guards, but I didn't make it. I was a prospect. Prospect make you a flunky. You got to, you know, you got to do what they tell you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And that's about it. That's about my life story, bro. When you do get I, high, <clears throat> when you do get high, what's your... What drugs you like? I like crack. All of a sudden, I like dope. I smoked some dope yesterday, baby. I was in paradise. I said, it only took like, it only took like a couple of shots. Hit that motherfucker like that, right? Man, I said, damn, Bubba Mellow is a motherfucker, yo. I'm a crack, I'm, okay, I'm a crackhead, but I'm a pretty crackhead. I don't, I'm not hooked on it. My brother was hooked. I just do it to get high. Yeah. Um, and I'm a pothead, baby. I love weed. I always love weed. And I love liquor. I love beer. And that's it. Liquor, beer, wine. No, I don't even fuck with wine. I drink liquor. I drink beer. That's it. Uh oh, I used to be a butt. Me and my brother were butt freaks. But I, butt ain't cut me, baby. It's, Ooh, it's weak. My mind, my brain just started hurting a little bit. So before we wrap it up, is mm -hmm. there anything you want to add? All I want to add is, brother, I love you, and you made my day. Because if it wasn't for you, babe, oh, damn, my head's starting to hurt. You all right? I, I don't know. I hope I don't have no aneurysm. It's going to be on film. <laughs> Y'all got a headache. So that's about it, sir. I think I'm about done. So I've been a little headache trying to come in. And that's my life story. I'm doing good. I almost got killed on a motorcycle about two times. One day I was coming down the parkway, right? I'm gonna show you the scar. This is the only scar I got. This happened on a motorcycle. I'll show you. And, um, my brother been in traction. He been fucked up a lot of times. He got hit coming through lights and shit. Thank God I never got fucked up. But I almost got killed one night. Me and my boy was out there, right? And it was like there was some niggas with little toys, right? All of a sudden, they woolly on the side of the road. What the fuck we doing on the side of the road? These niggas are just, boom, boom, bam. That's got no woolly flashing light. That's got no we back on the road. I had 900 cow, baby. 900 cow, baby. 900 cow, baby. I got a, this is the last bike my brother brought me. I got a 1100 Suzuki, baby. I'm going really to ride that motherfucker. I ain't rode in 20 years. Jamming gears has got to be a fever. <laughs> Men like Willie and Sonny make a move. This is a trucker song. It takes a special breed to be a truck driver, man, with the heavy hand. Now, this is how the country motherfucker. You, you like that country music, don't you? Look, check it out. I can't do that voice. Big, well, big wheels rolling, moving on. I can sing to you. The nighttime is the right time for the nation. Men, men become addicted to, my father drove trucks with that. Men become addicted to the grind. It, a good hot cup of coffee is waiting on down the road and the rhythm of the highway hums along. 
It's Anthony Gears, it's got to be a theater. It takes a special breed to be a truck driver, man, with the heavy hand and all that low behind. You gotta hit that, I can't hit that note. Big wheels rolling, big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling, gotta keep from going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. I done done.